Hey everybody, this is James back with another figure review and this time on the Marvel Legends Gamora figure from the Guardians of the Galaxy 5 pack. This is one I was really anticipating and I'm glad this figure came out really well. There's a couple little weird things about her that I'll go over, but overall I think this figure is fantastic. Uh, I've been wanting a comic Gamora for years now, ever since the movie Ever since that, you know, the Drax figure came out a long time ago, we've been glamoring for a fucking Gamora figure and we finally have one. Before we take a closer look at Gamora, let's take a look at her accessories. So Gamora comes with this long sword. Um, it's a very nice looking sword. This is the same exact sword that came with the Marvel Legends Black Knight and the Brood Queen wave. Um, looks a lot the same color palette as the Baron Zemo sword. Um, and the same kind of like, looks like it's like a chip too, so be careful with this sword, guys. But it looks really nice, the, de uh, the sculpt on work on it looks really cool. Not much paint deal, it's just gold and silver, but it looks really nice, and it fits in Gamora's left hand right here. Only her left hand, not, not her other hands. And Gamora also comes with this alternative head. Uh, it looks really nice. It looks like the same exact one that's packed with Miss Marvel and Moonstone. Uh, the face looks the same, and even the hair looks exactly the same too. Uh, it's a really nice face, very pretty. The only problem I have with it is that if you could see right here, there's like a little blemish on her left, on her right cheek. Um, not too bad, but uh, something to look for, look out for if you know, in case if your other Gamoras are like that. Gamora's face here looks absolutely beautiful. You can see the nice uh, rings that she has over her eyes. Eyes are all whited out, but it looks good. Uh, she's got the earrings you can see right here. This is what she has with the hood. The other one doesn't have a hood. Um, looks really nice. And I'm glad for this head they didn't, or with the other head, they didn't just like slap. Like, like this head doesn't look exactly like this one. They're completely different, different expressions. So that looks really nice. Um, the weird thing about this figure is that she comes with a fucking poncho. Like I've been looking all over the internet why she has this poncho and I can't find a single goddamn thing. So the only reason why I could see why Hasbro decided to put this poncho on her is because they didn't want to show her more revealing parts. But it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive that you can only get online. So I don't understand why like they had to hide her like hide her stuff uh. you know it's actually a really good piece underneath like if you take the head off take this cape off you just take it apart comes in two holes her body looks fantastic it hides the, the belt right here and hides some nice detail the paint's not bad and that's what i thought was going to be the big problem is that she was going to have a bad paint just some 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 mess ups right here on the on the back but that's going to be hidden by the cape anyway and the cape is actually really nice too not too much to say about it. it's just a flat green cape but um, it's got some nice little gold buckles on there um, and it looks really nice and it doesn't really stick anywhere though uh, there's no peg hole or anything so you have to rely on Gamora's head for it to kind of like just rest there but it, it's not that bad I think it fits better on the other head though because this one has the longer hair set of hair as opposed to the other one which just has the hood and this one you don't really have to worry about the the cape falling out and looking more at Gamora's body here. This is pretty much how she looked like um, in her re revamp classic design. In her old school design, she had like really long frilly hair and like a whole jumpsuit. This is how she pretty much kind of looked like after in like in the 2000s. Um, she's got some really, again, she's got the fishnets around here. Not real fishnets, everything's just painted on. It looks really nice. Uh, the paint is really clean. If you move the articulation, it does, it does not continue, which uh, sucks really bad, but it's not that bad. It's not too awful. I've seen a lot worse um, You can see some more there. It continues all the way down to here. And like I said before there's only like uh, the Really bad paint is only on the back, but again the cape's gonna cover it and the belt looks really cool It's just like this really golden skull. Um, again, there's some paint mess up on the eye over there But other than that it looks really good. I like it a lot. Um, looks really cool, very clean. It does move around a lot, so it can get a bit annoying, especially when you're posing, but it's not that bad. Just, you know, just have it right there and it looks good. Um, the green is kind of a pearlescent green. It's not it's not as noticeable as, let's say, like the, um, the Ironmonger body, but it's still it's still pretty good. Again, there's some paint mess-ups right there on the, for, on the forearm. Um, but the forearm's still pretty clean, it's still pretty good. Here on the other one, she's got a clenched fist over here. I wish she had two open hands instead of 
just the one so that way she can have like a, a pose where she's holding her sword in both hands but uh, even with the articulation I don't even think she can really do that and moving on down toward her legs um, again the legs are really nice here although we do get some little inconsistencies uh, the green is slightly different than the plastic I'm about here you can tell this is plastic this is just painted over um, but it's not too bad it's not as bad as let's say like Miss Marvel's where she looked really really bad this is better but you do see the plastic you know where I guess it connects uh, th that big line it's so it's just so jarring you can definitely tell and even like when the blue paint is even on there uh, it does not look that great and it looks like it looks cheap if anything I wish they had it on the back and they even do have it on the back but I wish it was more prominent on the back than more on the front it just it, it really pops out on you and I don't really like it and it sticks out same thing on this side you can tell it sticks right over there um, you, you'd see more little paint mess ups over here uh, with the yellow but it's still kind of clean throughout um again the, the yellow i don't know what these called the yellow um linings i guess uh and he still gets this green marbleized look and nothing really else other than other than that uh, you can even see on the legs the more marbleized look that they have for her legs again not bad just uh something i would have preferred i wish it was just a matte green but um this figure looks okay without it you know it looks decent now Gamora's articulation is pretty good. It's the same as the Moonstone body, so it's uh, really, really good. Um, the head can look up pretty okay on this figure. With the alternate head, she can't really move because the hair is in the way. Um, but it's okay. It's definitely a lot better than a, the other females. And she can look down all right. But if she looks down a bit too much, then you have to worry about the cape falling off. Um, again, not so much on the other head. Uh, she can look side to side okay. Same thing on the other one, but not. But this one has better range of articulation. Uh, her, uh, let's take this cape off while we're at it. Uh, she, her, her arms can go, shoulders can go out that much, and then go down that much, and you know they go up and down. Uh, biceps swivel up there. That's really nice. Uh, she has a ball joint right here that can turn side to side. Uh, it's pretty, pretty tight. Um, so that if that's something to warn about uh hopefully no, none of you guys break your figures out there so she can turn up and down uh, she has a wrist hinge up on there and go up and go down and up uh, she also has the diaphragm joint like i mentioned again the paint uh, doesn't go through all the way which is a bit bummer but, um, same thing on the back uh, actually on the back it's not it's pretty consistent but on the front mm, eh, that's where you see some of the, the mess ups right there uh, I can go side to side pretty good it's still a good joint I like it a lot um, legs can go up that much uh, not really much back and she can go out okay not that great um, she has an upper thigh swivel uh, double jointed knees this ankle is really tight and this one is normal. Uh, I have noticed she is a bit troublesome to stand. I don't know if it's just because I haven't posed her too much, but I've noticed she's, she kind of topples over a lot. I don't know if it's just, and it seems like it's this foot that's giving me a problem. Um, like, or, or this foot, this combination. I think these feet don't work too well on her. Like she just keeps toppling over and I don't even know why. She doesn't even have the hooker heels or anything. And with Gamora on that moonstone body, she stands at about uh, six and a quarter inches tall. And here we have Gamora with the rest of the figures in this five pack. Uh, and I gotta say, uh, this five pack was really good. Um, definitely much better than the other previous five pack we got with the all new X-Men. Um, not really a lot of bad figures in here. I really like the, the Groot and Gamora are the stars of this, I think. Uh, um, closing thoughts on Gamora. I think uh, she's really good. She's definitely probably the best of them. She comes with some cool accessories. She has the cool alternative head, and she also has the sword, which is really nice. Um, I, I just I kind of wish that uh, she comes with this poncho, but again, you can ta easily take it off, so there's no real problem with that. Um, I just wish she can kind of stand a bit better. Right now, she's standing okay, but. Um, I, I have some problems with posing, especially with the cape, um, but even still she's really good, definitely a whole lot better than that movie Gamora, um, and, and the Groot is definitely much better than the movie Groot, I thought that, that was amazing. The Rocket's really good too, um, cool little head, I really like the Drax, he's a slight disappointment, 
but he he's still good. I, just, I still really like him over the other one. And the Star-Lord, um, I think this one's probably the worst one. I actually just noticed that this Star-Lord has some paint mess-ups right here. Like, he's missing a whole red stripe, so... I don't know. God damn, that's really bad. I got this entire set for about uh, $120, that, and that's with the shipping off Entertainment Earth. This isn't Entertainment Earth exclusive. You're not going to get it anywhere else unless you count like secondary market and all that. But um, get it while you can. I think it's well worth it, especially if you didn't get the San Diego Comic Con um, Star Lord and the Bath Rocket Raccoon. Uh, the Drax is an improvement. Gamora is definitely, Gamora and Groot are definitely improvements. And even though I think Star Lord, uh, I think they missed, missed some of the paint on him. I still think he's a good figure. I just hope that you guys get a, a better paint job than I did. And same thing with uh, Drax as well. Drax has a little paint mess ups here. But overall, I think this set is really good. Again, with $120 worth, I think you're getting your money's worth. You got two builder figures right here and three really good figures. So that's it for this five pack, guys. Uh, ho hope you liked. Hope you liked all the reviews. Stay tuned for more Marvel Legends reviews and other figure reviews coming on this channel. To like and subscribe if you liked the video. Please share it around. And hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much. And see until next time.